St. Louis. How y'all doing out there? Welcome back to the St. Louis Jewish Community Flagpole. If you haven't been with us here before, you are in for an incredibly special treat here tonight. We have so many talented friends who are going to be with us, so many community leaders and clergy and families and teens and you. This is all about each and every one of us raising our voices, singing and celebrating and lifting each other and supporting each other in this difficult time because you know what? We actually have some really good things to share with each other. I've heard some beautiful feedback from so many friends about our last several flagpoles together and what this means to everyone out there. And I got to tell you, it means so much to me to share this time with you because I am so incredibly proud of our hometown, St. Louis. I want to throw out very special thanks to the Steinberg Family Foundation for making this all possible for us week after week, to the Jewish Federation of St. Louis, to the St. Louis Jewish Community Center, and to Jewish Rock Radio for making this all possible and partnering every step of the way. Okay, speaking of partnering every step of the way, I want to ask each and every one of you to click share right now. Click the share button right below this video and then select share on your timeline so that all of our friends and family can join us here tonight. It's time for us to sing wherever you are. It doesn't matter where you are, if you're in your kitchen or you're in basement or your living room, just stand up. Come on, this is gonna be fun. Let's sing, it's like sing out loud. Here we go. Hava, Hava Nashira, Shir Hallelujah. Shir hallelujah, hava, hava na shira. Shir hallelujah, shir hallelujah, hava, hava na shira. Shir hallelujah, hava, hava na shira. Shir hallelujah. Now raise your voice in St. Louis. Hava, Hava Nashira. Shir hallelujah. Shir hallelujah. Hava, Hava Nashira. Shir hallelujah. Shir hallelujah. I am so excited to welcome my dear friend since I was a kid from the Jewish Federation of St. Louis and the Millstone Institute, my dear friend, Karen Scher. Welcome to the flagpole, Karen. Hey there, I'm Karen Scher, Vice President of Community Engagement for the St. Louis Jewish Federation. I am so excited to welcome you all to tonight's St. Louis Jewish Community Flagpole. I have tuned in to, in real time to all of them, and every time I become more and more proud of who we are as a St. Louis Jewish community. But before I gush on all of the beautiful moments of meaning I have witnessed, I want to first send a huge shout out of thanks and deep gratitude to the people who made this all possible. Carol and Michael Steinberg and the Steinberg Family Foundation for sponsoring the Flagpole series. Wow. The generosity of this family and their vision for what's possible is inspiring and energizing. I also want to recognize our partners, the Jewish Federation of St. Louis, the St. Louis Jewish Community Center, and Jewish Rock Radio, and of course to my dear friend Rick Recht of over 40 years and his wife Elisa. Boy, did I just make myself sound old. Well, of course we have all said it. These are crazy and uncertain times. And yet I have seen some of the most beautiful and inspiring moments of connection, support, and deep care for one another. From women's philanthropies car parade celebrating our older people to the endless virtual offerings that bring our community together. The hundreds and hundreds of personal phone calls to our community members by our staff, leadership, and volunteers has been the thread that has kept us all connected. Our St. Louis Jewish community is resilient. It's resourceful, it's compassionate, and it's hopeful. Together as a collective community, we will not only survive, but we will thrive and come out stronger and more connected than ever before. I want to thank each and every one of you who works tirelessly to ensure our vulnerable have the sustenance they need 
and that they feel a little less isolated because you reached out with a friendly voice. I also want to thank all those who put out into the world creative new ways of connecting through virtual opportunities and who are coming up with new ways of creating meaningful experiences for our kids and youth for the summer. And tonight, I want to once again thank Rick and his team of song leaders and musicians who will bring us together through song and the universal language of music. And with that, I say, take it away, Rick. Thanks, Karen. Okay, let's do this together, everyone. Hava, Hava Nashira, Shir Hallelujah, Shir Hallelujah. Hava, Hava Nashira, Shir Hallelujah, Shir Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. You sing, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Sing Hallelujah, sing Hallelujah, sing Hallelujah. You sound awesome. Hallelujah. I'd like to welcome Rabbi Elizabeth Hirsch to the flagpole. Welcome. Hello, St. Louis Jewish community. I am Elizabeth Hirsch, privileged to serve as senior rabbi at the Temple Emmanuel. As we count the days up to Shavuot, contemplate the ways you can count your blessings. Count blessings of awe and health, friendship, and wonder. Number the opportunities you spend with a loved one or speak on the telephone. Count aloud your accomplishments that were waiting for a rainy day. Awake each new day committed to being amazed and taking nothing for granted. Open your virtual box of crayons and color your world with an assortment of shades. Look at nature and truly see. This week's Torah portion is from Midbar. Let us view the metaphoric wilderness as an opportunity to open our minds, hearts, and souls to one another. Look for divine guidance and hope in the openness of a desert. Hear the sounds you previously missed. What can we discover in our collective and personal deserts? We may actualize new skills or forms of resilience. We may find it easier to open our hearts to one another. It feels powerful to speak words of kindness and hope when we are separated by feet and even miles. Who can walk through an actual or metaphoric desert alone? We need one another. Each of you brings a gift to share with the community. We are walking together, sharing all that we have with the Torah as our guide and our light. Wishing you a Shabbat filled with love, peace, and rest. Thank you, Rick. Rabbi Hirsch, thank you so much for being with us here tonight. Welcome back, everyone. We're at the St. Louis Jewish Community Flagpole. I am your host, Rick Brecht. Love being here with you all here tonight. And also love seeing all of your beautiful comments. Keep them going. Say who you are. Say where you're from. Say what you're grateful for right now. I got to tell you, in my family, every week during Shabbat, we go around the table and we do this thing called the thankfuls. Um, where we just take time to share what we're thankful for in our week. And I want to share with you what I've been thankful over the last week. A couple things. One is I'm really thankful for the people out there who have been courageous, friends and family, complete strangers who are wearing masks, um, who are keeping social distance so that we can start sharing space together because it's so important. We're dying to be with each other, and this is what makes it possible. So way to go to everyone out there who's who's putting on the mask and also getting out. It's beautiful seeing you out there. The second thing I want to share that I felt really grateful for are all of my Jewish artist colleagues who are, you know, in a particularly difficult time. You know, live events are sort of like off for a long time and Jewish artists are still picking up their 
their guitars and their singing and they're putting it out on the internet for free in many cases so people can heal, um, so that people's souls can be soothed at a time when we really need it. So I'm super appreciative of all of my colleagues out there who are, who are really giving so much right now. If you can think of someone out there that you feel grateful for, please share their name right now. If, if there's a mazel tov or a birthday that you'd like to share out there or a simcha that you're aware of, go ahead and share the names right now. Let's do it. This is about us. This is about making and, and sharing community. Speaking of sharing community, I want to welcome uh, actually two dear friends of mine who were with us a couple weeks ago on the flagpole. I'm so happy that they're back. Julie and Rob Aronson, we love having you in our community. We love all that you share. Welcome back to the flagpole. Thanks, Rick. Hey, St. Louis. It is so great to be here with you this evening. I'm Julie Aronson. This is my husband, Rob. We are blessed to be expecting a baby girl this November. And as challenging as it can be to be pregnant in our world right now, I feel incredibly fortunate to be with my family and to be safe and healthy. And it is something to look forward to in the coming months. I hope that you can all find bright spots in your day-to-day -day lives. and I am a sophomore at Whitfield. At the end of January, I went to Israel on a program called Tichon Ramah Yerushalayim for four months. Unfortunately, due to Corona, TRI got canceled less than halfway through. I am still incredibly grateful for the seven weeks that I got to spend traveling and learning about Israel. I made so many new friends from around the U.S. and Canada, and I am so lucky for that. TRI is an experience that I will forever be grateful for. Another thing that I am grateful for is USY. My region is called EMSA, and it is the largest region in USY. Because of this, I have made so many friends that I stay in contact with, especially during this time. I am so grateful to have EMSA in my life, but most importantly, to have the people in it be a constant support for me. There are weekly Zoom check-ins, which create the feeling of community at home. This is a feeling that I experience at my conventions when we are all together. I am so grateful that I can still experience this feeling, even from home. Sing unto God all the earth a new song. I will sing unto God a new song. Sing unto God and we'll all sing along. All the earth a new song unto tonight, St. Louis. We hope to see you in person really soon. Thank you. Julie and Rob Aronson, thank you all so much for being with us here tonight at the flagpole. We love you all. We love all that you share in our community. It's a two for one with the Aronsons. So great. I'm Rick Recht. I am your host at the St. Louis Jewish Community Flagpole. If you haven't been with us before, welcome. So happy that you can be with us here tonight. We're here every week. 7 p.m. Central, right here on the Jewish Federation of St. Louis Facebook page. Make sure to like it. Like the Facebook page so that we can let you know when we're back next week. But we'll be back next week. Okay. We are at my favorite segment 
of the flagpole. This is a time when we, we talk about the heroes in our community. We honor the people who are volunteering, the people who are stepping up and supporting, saying, Hineni, here I am, what can I do next? I would like to introduce to you one of my heroes, someone I've known since she was a teenager, and she's always been a step up, what can I do next kind of person. Over the last several months, she has been on the front lines as a medical professional. Uh, I, I, I admire her so much. Beautiful voice, but a beautiful heart. Inside and out. Y'all give it up for Lindsay Eicher. Welcome, Lindsay. Thanks, Rick. Hey, St. Louis. It's so wonderful to be here with you tonight. I'm Lindsay Eicher, a frontline healthcare provider as a physical therapist. I want to thank all of my colleagues from around the world for keeping their hope alive and spirit strong. We are all in this together. Pomerantz's son, and I am super proud and excited that she won this award. Um, not surprised at all, though. I know for a fact that she is one of the greatest teachers of all time, and it's not something that I even have to see to know. Um, I get to see a lot of the behind the scenes work because when I was in high school, I didn't go to her high school, I never had her in class or anything like that. Um, I have seen like a couple like a couple instances I've been able to see her um, like in action like when I would come to her school when I didn't have school when I was younger or something like that and the amount of care that she had was just absolutely amazing um, you can just tell how much she really cares and wants all her students to just do well um, and one of the hardest things for me um, is I, I always kind of wanted to have her as a teacher um, just because I've seen how much she cares and how much effort she puts into all of her assignments. Even during the summer, she's always lesson planning and I've always found that amazing because I know that that's not what all teachers are doing. I, I know she goes very, very above and beyond with the amount of work that she puts in for her students. Um, and for herself, because I'm sure it's incredibly rewarding, and I know it is. Um, otherwise, she wouldn't be teaching for almost 30 years now. Um, and I, I just think it's incredible how much time and dedication and loyalty she's given and showed all of us. And I don't know, it's, it's something that... I, I wish I could have had her as a teacher. Um, we often joke about what that would have been like, but... Um, I don't know. I think she is the reason why I have so much appreciation for teachers. St. Louis, and I hope to see you soon. 
Lindsay Eicher, Daniel Pomerantz, Melissa Pomerantz. It's Mensch Mania. How beautiful. If you have pictures or videos of any heroes, of any volunteers, of people that you would like to honor in our St. Louis Jewish community, go ahead go ahead and email them to info at rickrec.com. Info at rickrec.com, and we will make sure to share those on future episodes of the St. Louis Jewish Community Flagpole. Okay, I want to dedicate this next song to all the individuals and the organizations out there that are providing the resources and the support that we need right now. As a matter of fact, a lot of the resources that didn't even exist before just a few weeks ago. If you can think of organizations that you'd like to honor or call out right now, give a shout out to right now, go ahead and type them in the comments. Keep sharing. Okay, this goes out to you. It goes like this. Y'all clap your hands like this. Go clap, 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 clap. Try that. Come on, clap your hands. Come on. Everybody say hey. Say hey. Good. Say hey, yeah. Say hey, yeah. Say hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can hear you. Keep going. Say hey, yeah, yeah. Say shh, 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 shh. Good. Don't stop. Say shh, 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 shh. Everybody say bear, ah, half ta. Try that bear, ah. Hata lure aka kmocha lure aka kmo se be a hata be a hata lure aka kmocha lure ako kmocha. All right, I want you to put your fist in the air wherever you are. It doesn't matter. No one's watching. Okay, we're doing this together though. Fist up, fist up. I'm gonna say you've got this life to live. And you go live it really loud. Ready? You've got this life to live. You've got so much to give. You've got this time to share. You've got this smile to wear. You've got this heart to love. You've got to rise above. You've got so much to say. You gotta love somebody. Put your hands together. Sing. Hata the rain, ah, now all right, this up. You've got so much to learn. You've got respect to earn. You've got to live your dream. You've got this song to sing. You've got a job to do. You've got a point of view. You've got to do the work. You gotta love somebody. Put your hands together, sing be ah. Hata the rain, ah, ka, mocha be ah. Hata re a ka mo ka go clap 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 come on come on hi I'm Rabbi Andrea Goldstein and along with being one of the rabbis at Congregation Sher Emmet I'm also the director of the Jewish Mindfulness Center of St Louis. People often ask me, what is mindfulness and what is Jewish mindfulness? Mindfulness is simply the awareness that arises when you pay attention on purpose to the present moment without judgment. And how do we bring awareness to each moment? We do this through certain types of practices like meditation, study, yoga, and prayer. At the Jewish Mindfulness Center of St. Louis, we look at mindfulness through the lens of Jewish texts and traditions, And we look at Judaism through the lens of mindfulness, which brings Judaism alive for many people in new and meaningful ways. Right now, as we are trying to make our way through this time of uncertainty, and for many, a time of increased worry and fear, mindfulness practice can help us to decrease our anxiety and more easily connect with joy. It also helps us build our resiliency muscles and treat ourselves and others with more kindness and more compassion. The Jewish Mindfulness Center offers numerous opportunities to gather together virtually to engage in these kinds of practices. We are a warm and welcoming community, and all are welcome no matter your level of knowledge or experience. Check out our offerings at our website at mindfulness.sestl.org. We'd love to see you there. Stay safe, St. Louis. Hey, we're back on the St. Louis Jewish Community Flagpole. 
Welcome. I'm Rick Brecht, your host. So great to be with you. I'm loving seeing all of your beautiful comments out there. This is what this is all about. It's about sharing. It's about lifting each other up. It's about supporting. It's about saying good things because we've got good things to say. Speaking of that, I want to say some good things to all the parents out there. This has not been an easy time. This is unusual. This is totally different. No precedent. But parents are just stepping up and making it happen, creating meaningful experiences Um, For all the kiddos out there, I'm with you. I'm a parent myself, and I just want to thank all of you for all all you're doing out there. Um, Speaking of amazing parents and speaking of really keeping everything in motion, I want to introduce one of my dearest friends, one of my best friends for many, many years. His name is Robert Bernstein, and Robert, many of you know because he runs an incredible program here in the St. Louis community, especially in the St. Louis Jewish community, all over the community, called Music Together. He is incredibly talented and has really created an amazing way for parents to connect um, with their children through music. How good can it get? Robert, welcome to the flagpole. Hi, Rick. Hi, everyone. First, I want to give a huge thanks to Rick and Elisa and family for all the work that they put in for the flagpole series and for all the work that you do in general, but especially these days. What a great thing for us to have. And I want to remind everybody that um, you can always have some fun with some family music time at home. And you can use your voice, you can use instruments, you can even use things um, that you might make at home, like maybe a homemade egg shaker. That might look like something familiar. Or uh, maybe something that you might find in the kitchen that you can use as a drum. So I hope you enjoy uh, spending some time making some music together. And uh, let's do a song together now. This is called This Little Light of Mine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. This little heart, this little heart of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little heart of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little heart of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. These little hands clap with me. These little hands of mine, I'm gonna let them shine. These little hands of mine, I'm gonna let them shine. These little hands of mine, I'm gonna let them shine, let them shine, let them shine, let them shine. Hi, my name is Emily Brockman and I am the Family Center Coordinator at the J in St. Louis. We have been creating family opportunities on your virtual J. These are wonderful ideas to do with your children. Reading Rabbis went virtual last week and we will continue to offer this program monthly, collaborating with PJ Library. We are starting Zoom playgroups. Who would have thought that we would be Zooming playgroups, but we are. If you know anyone who has recently had a new baby, we are here to support you. We have also been connecting with our families every day. As trying of a time as this is, it has also really given us much appreciation for the things that have been taken away, such as walking through the doors at the J. I know my own children used to complain about going to school and now they are begging to go. We have been recommending mitzvah projects to our J families, and we found that mailing letters and putting them in the mailbox and sending them off to loved ones have gone a really long way. Sneak in a little message to the mail carrier to make his day as well. For more ideas, go to our Facebook page. And from all of us from the Family Center, we miss you, we can't wait to see you. Stay safe, stay well, and thank you so much, St. Louis Community Flagpole. See you soon. Even in my home, I'm gonna let it shine. Even in my home, I'm gonna let it shine. Even in my home, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. All around the world, all around the world, we're gonna let it shine. All around the world, we're gonna let it shine. Shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. This little light, this little 
This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Thanks, Rick. Thanks, everyone. Robert Bernstein, thanks so much for being with us here tonight on the St. Louis Jewish Community Flagpole. Love all that you do, all that you offer through music together in our community, keeping everyone moving and grooving. Speaking of moving and grooving, I always like to mention PJ Library. We're so fortunate to have PJ Library in our community, all of the books and resources and activities that you provide for us, particularly um, at this, in this time when we really need it. Uh, and speaking of like what we really need is music. And I know a lot of you feel that way. And if you want to listen to amazing Jewish music, check out PJ Library Radio or Jewish Rock Radio. You can download both apps. They're free. And then you can listen to Jewish music 24-7, like literally day and night. You can listen to Jewish music. Also, um, if you want to watch some really cool Jewish music videos, go to pjlibraryradio.com slash watch and check out some really cool artists, many of whom you've even seen tonight. Okay, we are coming to the close of the St. Louis Jewish Community Flagpole, and I want to welcome Reb Scott Slarsky and Rabbi Tracy Nathan. In this difficult and challenging time, I'm grateful for the power of hope, resilience, and community that comes from our Jewish narratives and the memories and stories of those who lived through very difficult times before us. I'm grateful for all of the tools of hope, prayer, study, poetry, song, music, and laughter. And I'm also grateful for a tradition that doesn't pass over our broken world to get right to hope, but instead sensitizes us to see the most vulnerable and pushes us to pursue justice and to join with others in giving support and to keep working for systemic change. What are you grateful for, Scott? I'm grateful for investigative journalists who provide us information on and insight into the work that needs to be done to bring greater equity and greater holiness to our world. And I am also grateful for the spiritual perspective provided by Rebbe Nachman of Breslov, who taught, if you believe that we have the power to corrupt or to destroy, then you must believe that we have the power to repair. We love you all. Thanks, y'all. And thanks, every one of you, for being here tonight. Love seeing your sweet comments throughout the program. This is what it's all about. It's about building community. It's about making community. It's about choosing community. It's about sharing community. That's what we've been doing here tonight. Once again, a huge thank you to all of our friends, especially our musical friends, Lindsay Eicher and the Aronsons. Robert Bernstein, thank you all so much for being with us here tonight. A very, very special thank you to the Steinberg Family Foundation for making this all possible, and to our partners, the Jewish Federation of St. Louis, the St. Louis Jewish Community Center, and Jewish Rock Radio. Thank you all so much for all of your efforts to contribute to the St. Louis Jewish Community Flagpole. We're going to be here next week, same time, same place, 7 p.m. right here on the Federation Facebook page. Make sure to like it. Like it now so that we can remind you when we're coming back. I want to dedicate this next song to all the Jewish summer campers out there. It's been a, a really painful last uh, couple weeks for Jewish summer campers across the country as we've been learning about uh, camp closings. It's tough, like right here in the wrecked household. It's tough. But we're going to be here. We're going to make it through this. We're going to be stronger. Somehow we're going to learn something from this and we're going to grow from this experience. This goes out to each and every one of you, all of the, the kiddos, all of the teenagers, and all of the parents, all of the, the alumni of Jewish Summer Camp. Your part goes like this. Shalom, Chaviri. These are the songs we'll always sing. Never forget these memories. Shalom, Kaveri. You all sing. Shalom, Kaveri. These are the songs we'll always sing. These are the songs we'll always sing. Never forget these memories. Shalom, Kaveri. This is the best time. This is the best time. 
the summer of our lives, the summer of our lives. Na 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 na. I'll sing you some. This is the best time. This is the best time. This is the summer of our lives. All the memories we make. These are the bonds we'll never break. Under the starlight, we stayed up talking every night. We sang so loud we lost our voices. We laughed so hard we cried. This is the time. again so much for being with us here tonight can't wait to see you all next week same time same place be good to each other be good to yourselves Lila Toad.